Uh, this video is about how to use a uh, the process of registering and unregistering a machine um, with the Novell ZoomWorks uh, server. Uh, we currently use ZoomWorks 11. We've used ZoomWorks 10 in the past, and this particular script was created. A particular script that we're going to use is created with ZoomWorks 10. And still works in 11. Um, the script is here. It's called Red Choice. It basically just gives four options uh, to choose from. And then we'll follow our process to successfully um, make sure a, a device is not registered with the Zen server, that uh, cache is cleared, and then we'll attempt to re-register with the Zen server. So uh, to do that uh, and to prove that right now I'm currently registered with Zen server, um, here are the properties for my ZenWorks. I got that from here, show properties, that's this, win this window. Uh, shows my server looks like I'm connected uh, shows that I'm logged in which is all good so uh, the next thing I'll show you is this is my actual device on the ZenWorks server this is ZenWorks console uh, shows that I'm a logged in user and that um, last contact was September 26 was this uh, yesterday as you can see button down here so I'm successfully and correctly registered with the Zen server right now. I'm going to execute this batch file. I'll put the actual script in the uh, description of this YouTube video later, but uh, I can't share the script right now because it contains uh, username, login information, and plain text. So I'll, I'll give that to you later once I've stripped that information. So we're going to execute this. It gives us four options. Uh, unregister machine and register with a new grid. Unregister only. Clear cache for second login issues. And exit. Uh, so to start, we want to unregister, or the process we want to follow is we want to unregister, we want to clear cache, and then we want to re-register. Uh, we probably should have another, another option in here that's just register. Um, but unregistering a machine that's not currently registered is not going to be a problem. Uh, it's simply cannot find that machine in ZenWorks database and so therefore it skips the unregister process and proceeds with registration. So the script still works just fine. Uh, so our first step in our process is actually going to be the um, second step in this script. So to say enter. And this can take anywhere from you know 30 seconds or less to uh, five minutes. Just depends on speed of the machine, speed of the network, uh, how heavily the ZenWorks server is being um, utilized at the moment. So you saw that was pretty quick. Uh, all my ZenWorks icons that were here disappeared. And the, f the batch file itself actually disappeared. We can re-execute this. We want to clear the cache this time. So that's going to be step three, or option three. You see that was very quick. It cleared the cache from the, the file folders on, on my local machine so that it's registered uh, so that it's ready to register again. We don't need to reboot. All we need to do is run step one, which is going to attempt unregistration again, but that's going to fail, and then ultimately it's going to register the machine. So we choose one, unregister, locally only because it's not registered with ZenWorks server. And it's processing the registration command right now. Okay, it's complete. We should see that in ZenWorks. Let's go back out and try to find this device again. No longer exists in the system. And this is my host name. Let's see if I'm down here. You don't see me there. Okay, so I'm in Devices Workstations ATD Permission. It put me in this folder. Um, there are there are some configurations on ZenWorks server that uh, do some automatic assignments based on the host name of the machine. It automatically assigns certain machines to certain groups. Uh, in this case, an ATD Permissions group. I don't want people to automatically be able to remote my machine because I'm a network administrator.
So you'll see this is green, looks good. Um, last contact is 9.22 a.m. That's of the current day. So we have good registration. Now one thing to keep in mind with unregistering and re-registering, or if you're going to re-image a machine that's been registered was in in the past, is that um, it's good practice to go in and clear out machines that um, are already or clear out current registrations from the actual Zenworks console. Um, the script does work, but if you forget to clear the cache, uh, if you get that, forget that uh, third that third option in there, um, sometimes you can end up with duplicate registrations, and you'll often see that by it'll be um, the exact same host name, and then it'll have a string of alphanumeric characters out here. Um, so that's not good. And to delete those registrations, you would simply, you know, check the boxes of the two exact host names, remove both entries. Uh, you'll check the boxes and then hit delete. It'll remove those. If you're doing a lot of them, it can take a good amount of time because it's having to query the database and remove those items from database tables. So it can take a while if you're going to do a lot of them. But usually just one or two or a few um, is, you know, five minutes or less. Again, that depends on network speed um, and how heavily the Zenwork server is being utilized for imaging or whatever processes you use in your organization. Um, so just remember that if you have duplicate there, uh, duplicate host names, and especially if you have alphanumeric strings out here that you want to get rid of those before you try to attempt registration again. That's all. Thank you. Have a good day.